Hey Brunuts, we've got another coastal themed beer from Baltimore, courtesy of some very generous friends that we are stoked to try. This one's the Riptide White IPA from Heavy Seas Beer. They say that this one's hopped like an IPA, but brewed with a malt body similar to that of a Belgian style wit. It's brewed with Warrior, Saz, Strissel Spalt, <laughs> say that five times fast, and Cascade Hops. There's two row, caramel, and torrified wheat in it as well. Now, based on the description, I'm expecting a lot of orange flavor as well as a few spices in this guy. Similar to the Loose Cannon IPA that Heavy Seas brews, it measures in at 7.25% ABV with 45 IBUs. It's a late summer, early fall beer that's available from July through September every year. Heavy Seas recommends pairing it with fish tacos, stone fruits, or droops if you will, wild berries, and sharp cheddar. You don't like the Steelers, do you? I love them. Let's see what she looks like. Uh, what do you think? Quite yellow. Unfiltered, definitely. Definitely. I'm not seeing through this guy. A little bit of sedimentation in it. I kind of like that in a beer. Oh, good. Dirt. Any other thoughts? It's super yellow. Well, let's, give, let's give her a good old sniff. It smells weird to me. Yeah, I mean, I, I can get like the Belgian yeast out of that, though, you know? I've never smelled Belgium. You are now. Hmm. You get something like maybe a little spicy? Yeah. Smells like World War One. I. I watched Fury this past week. Yeah, is it good? Cool movie. Good yeah. movie. It was kind of ruined for me. A buddy of mine said right before we went to watch it, it's just as good as Saving Private Ryan. Yeah, that's not true. Shia Boo. Let's give it a taste. Drink her down. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I do like that. I will give you this. It is smooth. It is smooth, right? It's yeah. creamy. It's a creamy mouthfeel. That's what that is. <laughs> that's what that means. I, like I mean, a you... thin, thin milkshake. Sure. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm wiping a tear from my eye from having to drink that. No, I like it a lot. You, you taste kind of like the, dare I say, coriander. Don't know what that. That means. was the most pretentious thing I've ever said in my life. <laughs> no, I, li I like it a lot. There's a little bit of like spiciness to it, mm -hmm. but it's still yeasty, and obviously it's an IPA. I mean, it's it's hoppy, but not so upfront with it. It's got the slight taste of a glove. If a glove doesn't fit, you can't right, quit. Or right, something like yeah. That. yeah. If it tastes like glove, you ain't gonna love <laughs> this beer. Ugh. An O.J. Simpson slash Seinfeld reference. If you, you're old enough, they're old enough. To know. <laughs> you, gotta to, you gotta be at least over 21. Yeah, you're not a millennial. Can you be a millennial and be 21 right now? I guess you could be. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. It had a really pretty head on it. Nice lacing going on right now. Sure. You know. I can see it on the side of the glass. That's important. Yeah. Yep, residue. Sediment. Cool label. They uh, Heavy Seas is really into that hand-drawn artwork, mm -hmm. which I like. It says, you're swimming the wrong way. Oh, yeah, because that's what I'd be doing if I was drinking this beer. You ever been in a, in a riptide and a rip current? I have. That's I have as well. It's a scary. Yeah. It's not a little bit scary. It's a lot of bit scary. That's true. I don't, I don't go in the ocean anymore because of the rip current that I was in. Really? I watched 2020 and they showed me how to get out of rip current. You're so supposed to swim sideways, but right it like happened so quickly. At an angle. And this is the first time that I've not been scared by a riptide since. Mm. Yeah, this is riptiding me away from this beer, that's for sure. Mm. I don't want to... All the puns. So apparently this has spices, says the label. Yeah, but you kind of taste that though. No. You remember my, dare I say, coriander? Uh, I don't know what coriander is. Let's give some ratings. I'll, I'll go first. 7.25 out of 10. That is very specific. I know, right? Yeah. I'll give this a 3 out of 10. Okay. That's that's actually pretty good for you. That is. I'm definitely not drinking much more of this than I have to. This. I, am I just being so pretentious with my ratings lately? I feel you're like just being it. honest. You're rating from here. I am. I'm rating from the heart. Rating from the heart. All right. Uh, it is, just tastes so weird to me. Is that the elephant in the brew? I guess. Just the thesis of your. Yeah. It just tastes so weird to me. Yeah. I've been writing a paper for this class. Mm. Well, let's let's give it a final sip, final yeah. reaction, and and then we'll end that. The elephant in the brew. Sure. Yeah, right? I like that. It's a good idea. All right. Are we gulping it? Are we finishing? No, it? no, 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 no. Oh, we're, we're, we're not. To, we're not Greg. We're simmering this. <laughs> All right. This tastes like. It honestly tastes like inside of a like a like how the rubber glove smells a little bit. I love this beer, but just to add on for a great analogy, like if Han opened up the Tauntaun and you were Luke and he shoves you inside. I don't know what a Tauntaun is. Dude, Star Wars. I know, but I don't know what a Tauntaun is. At the is. beginning of Episode Five on Hoth, when Luke is out in the cold in the snow, and the only way that Han can save him is by opening up the Tauntaun and letting Luke go inside of this dead animal <laughs> so that he can stay warm. Oh, no. If you lick the inside of the Tauntaun, 
That's what this That's probably what like? you think it tastes like. Oh. I think it tastes delicious. Yeah. I'm a little more disappointed that you didn't know that reference. All right, we've got some work to do with this guy over here on <laughs> beer and Star Wars. Beer Wars. And that's the... Battle of Domestics will be coming up probably in a month or so. We're gonna, we're gonna get all the heavyweights and all the lightweights. Put them together. Put them together and let them fight it out. Blind taste tests. Who likes what better? Yeah. Because we all have a preference, obviously. Spoiler. They're all terrible. <laughs> They're all incredible is what they are. Oh, incredibly sure drinkable, sure incredibly... If partyable. you have to use the word drinkable or drinkability to describe your beer, it's a drink. Yeah, like, like what if, else? If, if someone was presenting you with like the world's best burger and they go, it's eatable. Yeah, that's great. I don't want it to like sit here. All food is eatable. To, yeah. All beer is drinkable. It just means there's nothing the word else. word would be edible. It means there's nothing <laughs> else good we can say about it. Uh, yeah, it would be edible.